it's MK and I am joining Paw Your Way to Our Hearts today. I'm also using my Kit Conspiracy 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbert kit and I am playing along with Follow a Sketch February using this sketch right here, but I'm going to shrink it down to eight and a half by 11. So the first thing I did was I grabbed this Magical Forest sticker set from Crate Paper, it's an alpha set, and created my title In the Grass for my puppies. I have this um, rub-on sheet that in all honesty, I do not end up using at all. I thought I was going to, and then um, everything else did all the work for me, so I didn't need to. I pulled out two chipboard pieces that I thought were perfect. Here are my puppies laying out in the grass, and then this is going to be, um, this is just a die cut piece that I pulled from the packet that's gonna be my photo mat. And then I have these laser cut leaves that are from the Tidal Wave uh, laser cut co um, collection or, or packet. Uh, this is going to be my main background right here. It's from the classic collection called co uh, Cotton Candy. And then I have a white piece of cardstock. That will be actually my base. Um, even though most of it you see will be the Cotton Candy papers. But um, yeah, it, it, it's all going to be resting on the white cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off my branding strip and then cut off four inches from each side, leaving the middle piece. I only want the two four inch pieces because I felt like if I cut out the middle piece, then when I put the two four inch edges together, it won't look like I cut out the middle piece. It'll, it'll look like they belong together. Um, so now I just have to decide what I want to cut off because of the fact that I only need um, about about 10 and a half inches for um, you know for the background uh, so I'm just trying to decide do I want to cut off most of the green do I want to cut off most of the blue how much do I want to cut off and then exactly how much do I cut off so I'm just doing a little bit of math here trying to figure out if I cut off one inch um, from both sides then I get my 10 inch but I don't think I cut I think it's, oh, no, I cut it all just from the top. Oh, see, here I thought I was going to cut off from both sides. I only end up cutting off from the top. See, I can't even remember when I do, what I do anymore. Used my edge distressor to distress the edges and make sure that my layout isn't going to be too flat. Um, I do love adding edge distressing because it does add a little bit of dimension without the depth. So I, I really do enjoy something like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and poke out a couple of these leaves that catch my eye um, just for the top representation of the flowers that are in the sketch. And then I pop out a couple butterflies. So two of the um, well, basically one for each color. So I've got a green one, light aqua, and dark aqua. Uh, and then, of course, keep going with the leaves. I wanted something a little bit longer. Uh, in all honesty, I don't really know what this is going to look like, but that's what I've got so far. <laughs> and I did take, and instead of having three photos, I only have the one. Um, and most of my puppy layouts are only eight and a half by 11, if not smaller. Uh, because I used to never actually scrapbook our puppies or the puppies that we babysit. I, I never really even considered um, scrapbooking because there's not a whole lot to say except that, you know, oh, you look, you were lazy today. <laughs> oh, look, you hung out in the grass today. You know, I mean, it's our dogs are old um, and there's not very much to, you know, uh, to document about our puppies. And when I scrapbook or when I, when I babysit puppies, I do have to say that there's not a whole lot of photo taking going on because we are very busy people. Um, and so I forget to sometimes take um, puppy pictures. I take the pictures for their owners so they can see what they're doing day by day. It's like a kind of a check-in. Um, but other than that, it's, it's one of those things that we don't, you know, I don't even think about scrapbooking uh, until I joined um, the Paw Your Way um, to your, into your heart gang. Uh, so anyways, going to go ahead and um, I've got my, my photo mat all scuffed up with my edge distressor, put my photo down. I didn't even have to trim it. It was the perfect size. And then I'm going to do best buds filled with joy. 
Um, this was actually their first, their second year enjoying the brand new grass. And we um, had a little trouble with the grass. It had some dead spots in it at first, but once we figured out what was causing the dead spots, it came back and grew like a weed and it was so green. It was crazy. Uh, so we're very happy with our grass <laughs> and apparently the puppies are too. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of butterflies in there because this collection has an abundance of butterflies. Um, and I just really picked out two pieces. I think the filled with joy piece is a cardstock and then the best buds was a, um, a chipboard. And then of course, uh, another laser cut butterfly down there in the represented color. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the in the grass title down. I'm not sure if I've glued the, the upper butterfly down yet or not. I think I did. I don't remember doing it and I don't remember seeing me do it. So I was going to splatter with white because that is what is a constant on my desk. And then I decided, no, I'm going to try gold this time because I did bring in some uh, gold from the from the title. So I'm, I'm going to try and it is a Dina Wakely gloss spray in gilt is what it is called, but it is her, it is her gold. And when you shake it up, it's not as yellow as um, as it looks here in the photo, but it does match my alpha really, really well. It, it just is, it, it's like a, it's like a brassy gold, um, but not, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but here it is all dried. I wanted to make sure that the pictures were dry. So you guys could get an idea of the, of the color that this gold is. And I really do like it because it's not, it's not glitzy gold, even though it's, it's, no, it's called guilt. I thought it was called glitz there for a sec. Anyways, uh, well, that's it for me, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. All the links will be down below for Paw Your Heart, uh, Paw Your Way Into Your Heart. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys the sketch one more time and that link for Follow a Sketch February for her Facebook group will be down below. And then of course, um, Janet's channel link will be down there, even though she is, I believe, playing along today with Paw Your Way. I hope she's using the collection but I'm not sure. I don't know if she used her kit conspiracy or not. I guess we will see. Um, but I am trying to use it up, you guys. I can't wait. Can't wait to see what's left over from, from being done this month. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll check you all later. Bye. <music>